Well, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Let's take uh, this car. Okay, Chiki. Get in. Oh, you took your spot. <laughs> Can you? All right, so today we have Miles with us. Hi. And we have the Chick Chick Chickery. Uh, where are we headed? Visona Park? <laughs> no, we're not going to Visona Park. Um, I'm not even sure where we're going. Uh, it's called Something Creek Trail. I think it's on my phone, so we'll, we'll, we'll see if we can find it. Uh, but first, what do we need before we go? The car? Well, we, <laughs> we're in the car. Um, what? What's something that can warm you up? Hot chocolate and hot muffins. Chocolate. Hot chocolate and muffins. All right, we're going to get hot chocolate and muffins. I'll probably go for a coffee. So we're going to be heading off to get that first. So let's go. Coffee, coffee, coffee. <laughs> Open says. What do you want? Um, Big hot chocolate? Yeah. Biggest one we've got. Biggest hot chocolate? And I think it's grand. I also I kind of feel like a cake. Oh. Okay. Since I don't a, want a cake. Since a torturous. He wants a, the biggest hot chocolate you got? Biggest hot chocolate. Wow. That big? You can drink that? Yeah. How about one size smaller? That's a, okay. that's a lot of time. Yeah, that's a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going to do a uh, venti latte. I love when they add the print. Hey, tick tick. Got our beverages. Hey, we are heading off. All right, we're going to Las Gatos Creek Trail, which is about 14 minutes away. Let's go. Well, we made it. After like 20 minutes of driving, we finally made it. All right, let's check this place out. We're at the uh, Los Gatos Creek Trail. You happy to be out, Chick Chick?
All right, so it's against uh, against the freeway or highway. That's the highway 17. That's the one I usually go to Santa Cruz when I go there. It's been a while since I've been there. Let's check out this palace. What is that over there? Casting ponds? What does that mean? All right, does anybody know what that means? Casting ponds? Whatever they are, they're empty. Casting ponds only, no hooks. What fishing or something? No swimming. Hmm. <laughs> all right, Chick Chick, let's go. That's a canal, all right. I have a good balance of car sounds and birds tripping. It looks like it's going to rain. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we got our rain jackets on, so we're ready to go. Los Gatos Creek Trail, this is. Ding ding. I think that means there's a bike. Should have brought our bikes. An artificial waterfall. What's that? Yeah. Okay, no swimming. Hi, buddy. How's it going? <laughs> All right, we're leaving. <laughs> oh, uh. Come on, chick chick. <laughs> wow, what a what a ride that was. Had us going ten minutes in one direction, and. Uh, then I had to turn around and go about 15 minutes in the other direction. But eventually you found it. I guess that's what happens when you improvise. We didn't really research or plan this. So sometimes that has a cost. <laughs> but it was a good drive. So the kids are on a school break, spring break, which is one week. Uh, we didn't have really any plans set, but the kids got sick right before the break started. First it was Miles, then it was Ella. Ella got a little bit better, now she's sick again. So, uh, <laughs> this will be a spring break video. So Ella's at home with her mom and the boys, that would be Chicky, Miles, and myself, decided to get some exercise and make a video. Some of you joined us for the uh, live stream with Zen Master Dae Kwong. That was a very good turnout, very interesting questions. It was great having him here. We haven't seen him, wow, over two and a half years, I believe, because of COVID and things like that. So he usually visits us twice a year. And so it was very nice to see him. Everybody had a good time. And he just left a couple days ago after a few failed attempts. He's back in Korea. Uh, if you did miss the live stream with the Zen Master Day Kwong, you can 
access to video in our Patreon community. So if you're considering joining us on Patreon, uh, now's the time to do that. Oh, and be sure if you haven't already subscribed to the channel. Uh, Kendra and I are going to do another live stream. Many of you know Kendra's my wife and we had uh, a lot of requests to do another live stream together. So we're going to be doing that. Uh, I'll have the link down in the description below and you can set a reminder and join us for that event. All right, let's keep walking. Check out all that green gunk. Would you go swimming in there? Would you go swimming in there? What about you, Chick Chick? Chickory, you have anything to say? No? You want to keep moving? Oh, you got poop in there? Oh, you didn't poop yet? That's kind of cool over there. What's that? It's like a trail, Miles. It goes all the way down to the other side. Then we'll fall. Looks like it's raining way over there. For a listening meditation, we're going to get the beautiful sounds of all the cars driving by on Highway 17. Let's enjoy. says no swimming but it didn't say that we couldn't walk <laughs> so this is what 
No rain in California, looks like. It's pretty dry. This is what it looks like in the bottom of a pond. Pretty exciting. During Dae Kwong Sim's visit, him and I got to bring up a lot of old stories about some of the uh, great grand teachers in our lineage. Uh, Zen Master Ko Bang, Zen Master Mong Gong, Zen Master K Kyung Ho. If you follow my channel, you know who these people are. There was one exchange with the student I thought it was very interesting. A student came up to Zen Master Mong Gong and asked, where is the Buddha Dharma? Mong Gong replied, right in front of you. The student responded, right in front of me, but I cannot see it. Zen Master Mong Gong said, well, if you have eye, you can't see. <laughs> and the student replied, well, do you see? Mong Gong replied, if you have eye, you cannot see. But if you have you, it's even more difficult to see. And the student really asked a deep question. If there's no I and no you, then who is speaking? And that question didn't come from here. It came from really deep within. And his mind opened up at that time. And if you watch my videos, I always talk about how our original mind or our clear mind or our true self or enlightened nature, many names for it, is very clear. It's like a mirror, just reflects everything as it is. But we create I, and this clouds our view. So we can't perceive the moment clearly. And sometimes that brings up a lot of confusion in life. When we create this I, we don't know where it comes from. We don't know what it is. <laughs> and yet we start to believe in it 100%. Then when we get confused, we start to look outwards. So this is what Mong Gong said, if you have you, it's even more difficult to see. So we get confused, we start looking for teachers, teachings, practices to understand this I. But Zen practice really points to this question that this monk asked himself. If there's no I, then know you, who is speaking? Because right there we can perceive something very clearly. And it doesn't mean I or you can't be used. <laughs> Usually I is controlling us. Our likes and dislikes are controlling us. Our discriminations are controlling us. We make this division between us and this world. So we create dissatisfaction. If we can perceive this place before thinking, then we can use anything right now in this moment to help ourselves and help others. So we have a few questions uh, regarding this exchange with Mong Gong and the student. First one is, no I, no you, how do you see? <laughs> I guess another question we could ask is, take away I, take away you, then what is left? And a question in the story that people really struggle with is, when this monk asked himself, if there's no I, there's no you, then who is speaking? And he realized his enlightenment. So the question would be, what did this student actually attain? I'm gonna walk over here and ask my son one of these questions and let's see what he says. I'll ask you too, Chicky. <laughs> All right, Miles. Yeah. So, if there's no I, and if there's no you, then how can you see? Your eyes. <laughs> yeah, what are your eyes doing? Looking. At? The scenery. What is the scenery? The beautiful lake. The beautiful lake. <laughs> Does that lake have I or you? No. No. 
So, all right, everyone, it's starting to rain on us. So what is our plan today? Oh, I got to get back to do some live streaming, actually, Maya. Mm -hmm. um, so I need to get back so I'm on time because I'm usually late. Chicken needs to get back to his mom. Miles needs to get back to watching TV. Watching TV. <laughs> this is vacation. All right, everyone. So great to see you all. I hope you're having a clear moment. Bye-bye, Chicky. Say bye-bye. <laughs> bye-bye.